Oh, Xbox One, you fat son of a bitch. Yeah, you're big and you're big charger. Controller's nice though, but look at you. You're as big and square, shiny and glossy and then matte finish. Then you got a headset that's actually pretty decent if you ask me. I like the sound quality. And the Kinect! Wow, I was actually impressed with the Kinect, how good and accurate it's picking me up and this microphone that it picks me up. Oh wow. More vents in the back where you got HDMI out and HDMI in. More vents in the top as you see. More vents on the sides. All the sides have vents. How long is it? Or the wide should I say? It's 13 inches. 13 inches wide. And then you got 3 inches tall. And in depth you got uh, mostly 11. Almost. And then it's huge in the diagonal. And in the bottom that's what it looks like. So I just want to give you all around. But let's talk about the controller now. The controller looks a lot nicer. But it is bigger, and the top part is kind of weird, but you see the plastic triggers have actual motors in there, and then the little analog sticks, they look good, they feel good, the little rubber pieces are excellent. You can hear the feedback on the D-pad. Look at it. And there's the microphone input. But it's picking it up right here, you see all around. Fits comfortable in my hand, like it's really nice. And you can't even hear these triggers. Did I mention that there's motors in the triggers? So when you shoot, you can feel the vibration on the right side or you're driving around, you're gonna feel the tires. Well, let's go into the de battery department. It's really flimsy, but it feels solid when it's connected. You can put Duracell batteries, <laughs> your choice. But you can also buy the, the rechargeable ones. And then the headset here, this is what it looks like up close. And then you got the microphone that actually real good and adjusts up higher and you can do left or right ear just by switching that over. And then here's the actual connecting port that goes right to the controller. I don't know what kind that's called, but here we go. It's very simple. Just kind of just shove it in, she, she said. <laughs> and you will see how it looks just connected with the wire. Of course, they'll have wireless ones, but that's what we got right now out of the box. And right now, I can put my fingers all the way through the middle. Oh, yeah. Shh. That's how the button sound right here. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you right there. Taking it back out. And then the connect. There's vents on the sides and on the back that actually has a little dust on it from using it for three days, pretty much straight. And then we have an actual tripod, you know, connector where you put cameras. It's exactly what it is. Just dock it on a tripod or something and put it on wherever you want in the room. It's shiny. And it's also tiltable. It doesn't tilt like the first connect, but you tilt it to your own self liking and then, well, whatever it wants you to tilt it to so you can work it right, but it's nice. And then this AC power outlet, it's huge once again. It's weird, I guess why they take it out is because they don't want that heat source to be inside the Xbox. But we're gonna plug it in right here, it's very simple to do. Just pushy, pushy. And then we got the connect just to show you that it connects right back here. And snappy. And then I'm just gonna power on here, watch. Just touch, just barely touch it and then it turns on and then the connect will kick on. And since I'm not connected to the TV, I just have my infrared showing that everything's just out off of the TV, but there's infrared in there. Can you see the little blinking on the left and right in the middle? Those are infrareds. And then the connect has three other ones too. And that's how simple it is to turn it off is by touching quickly. But there's other ways to turn on and off as well and I'll show you here in a little bit. And then when it's off, it actually makes a sound when I'm touching the exit button or eject. And then you can eject, insert CDs while it's off. Very light touch as you saw there. And it comes out. And then I'm going to lightly, barely touch it and you can see how it picks up. Xbox on. Now I didn't touch any remote. It's all turned on by my voice command. And I'm going to tell it to shut down. Xbox turn off. Yes. And the reason I said yes is because on the TV screen I already know what to say. 
to actually turn it off. But look at you, your huge entertainment console take up rumor. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you here how it is when I come home and how I can use it. So let's get going. <sighs> Xbox on. As you see here on the very right, it actually turned on just by my voice. My TV also gets it turned on by itself with the connect telling it to. And then I can oh, control it. Look how quickly yeah, it actually is. picked up my hand. Picked it up pretty well, if you ask me. And I just very impressed with the connect. <sighs> Xbox. Go to Hulu. All the up and downs and grabs work very well on me. I, I just, a lot of people say it doesn't work very well, but for me, it does very good. And I lay down to see if it'll pick me up while I'm laying. And it doesn't pick up my hand while I'm laying. I don't know if my knees or my body language, not letting it know what I'm trying to do. My voice works. Pins. Netflix. Item two. Now, when you're using the voice actions, Xbox, you have home. to do what's in green. My game's an X. Dead Rising 3. Never mind, I'll get to you back again. Xbox, turn off. Yes. I walk off. But here I am, I'm going to show you exactly how it is in like my type of view here. How accurate it really picks up as you see I mean do I have to keep saying as you see pretty much that's just like a little thing I always do but anyways Android power yeah so I'm just you know showing you what Internet Explorer does you can you know use it as your normal computer does Xbox go home Netflix and I can actually like push like a big button and acts like I press it. Xbox select. When you say that command, it brings select up two. all the green options. Four of us. It's a small thing. I really want to use Xbox. It was my birthday gift. Xbox pause. Rewind. Faster. Faster. Faster? Play. Xbox, go home. Snap. Internet Explorer. Snapping is also a really cool feature. As you're watching TV, play Internet games, Explorer. you can open up different things here. Like here, I got the Internet Explorer. I can be searching things as I'm playing or watching. Xbox, unsnap. And it goes back to full screen. Xbox, stop. Xbox, go home. See how quickly that picks up my hand and is very accurate. I'm very impressed with the Kinect. Xbox, my games and apps. You have go to say to my go games to and apps. a certain app. Here I'm going to demonstrate the Connect Sports Rivals. And basically, it'll explain everything here while I'm playing and just read my body language and watch the screen. I'm just going to have hands up until I can play. Three, watch my two, hands. One, Kind of realistic. I don't know why I did that. I just tried it to give me a little turbo boost. And look at my hands. It reads my body and I can do all the weird hand gestures stuff. I just left the frame and you can see it's picking me up as how far I am. 
and then it'll see me up to right here. So it's pretty wide angled. And as you see, I can jump up here. So anyways, let's go into and press continue. And it won't do it until I raise my hand. So raise my hand, put up down. And you can see, look at Leaning to the left now, leaning to the right. As soon as I start, look at that. So it actually looks at my hand. And there you go. And then I can start turning like this. Oh yeah. And then I let go. Look at that, the gas stops. And then go. <laughs> you can hear where the gas lets go. And then it goes, let go. Then that's really cool. Okay, and here I'm going to show you the Xbox One Smart Glass where you can control your Xbox not just by your remote control, by voice, by connect. You can do your cell phone as well, maybe your tablet instead of your cell phone if you want to. You see I'm just moving through the little screen on my big TV and you know swiping down and tapping on the screen is A and you can see the colors that differentiate so you can know what does what. I mean, it'll take you a little bit getting used to, but it does pretty good. And, you know, instead of having for your connect, if you can't read you, you can use this instead of using your remote, wasting that battery. It's just convenient ways. And it's really good because if you don't know your way around Xbox yet, you can just use your cell phone and end up clicking to open different apps. And it'll just go right to it instead of navigating through it. But you see here I'm running uh, net. Not Netflix, but Hulu here. Presented and I'm still using my cell Fox. phone. And I'm going to actually pin on the right side, Netflix. Now you can't run Netflix and Hulu at the same time, but you can run other apps at the same time. But it'll be ready Netflix when you go to full screen, it'll do it. And unsnapping okay. command unsnaps it. Um, do you want to just stay in? Because you know what that means. Romantic dinner at home? It's on the couch. Or your thing. Actually, Homeland sounds great. Or your thing. Hey, Nick. Um, last night when Ferguson and I were in the shower, pinning Internet in Explorer. It's time to get back in the game, you know? Meet some women, human, women, human. You know, there's a little cursor anyway, and zooming in, and zooming out. Some drinks with some work buddies, just for a little while. You just gotta give them a pill at six. We're having dinner tonight. Yes, Winston wants to go out to meet human. And there's back. Just one foot pill. Here you are. No, I don't touch that thing. No, okay. We have a date tonight. I just made some cobbler and some peach cobbler. Went home by touching your ex. Be nice cream. And coach is asking Cece out on a date tonight. And does anybody want a bite of this? Because it's I really like that you can see all this stuff and have that play still. And they're clicking onto the game and luck real quick is gonna launch it like I never left it. Xbox unsnap. I'm gonna now open up Hulu and run it again and it goes right back to it. Wrong crowd. And then I'm just going to go into my messages, so instead of having to go interrupting my movie, I can read everyone messaging me, and you can see this guy says, Is the Xbox One worth purchasing? I don't know, you guys tell me. And then here I just go into the rewind, fast forward. Xbox, stop.
Okay, I'm turning on the controller, and I'm gonna start, you know, using. You won't be seeing it, but it's gonna navigate here through, tell you what's new. You know, you got your store up here on the very right, and you got your home, and you got your pins where you can set pins, all applications that you will like. So let's say you want to pin picking what you want to pin. So I'm going into my apps right now, and let's go into upload. I can press. This button right here that you can't really see and, and it brings up the option it says pin to home. You wanna press pin to home. Let's go back home and you will see that right here, upload is now there. So it's a tile, just like Windows 8. It's this little menu button that they're calling and just you know go into the full screen, go quit, go into all settings and go into the settings. You say you got all your payment, bill and subscriptions, your sign in security, network connects, all preferences here you can change up. And of course it is Blu-ray player, just in case people are like, is it Blu-ray player? I always joked around how I told everyone Xbox is gonna get Red Ray player. <laughs> You know, you can check out the games that they really have right now. It's not many games. That's what sucks about it. If you get an Xbox One right now, you're not going to have too many games. And especially since there's no free games to play. There's only that rival trial one. And you have to pay for every other one. So in my opinion, if you're in a hurry to get an Xbox One, I mean... I would say wait for it. There's not enough games unless you're into like the current games that are out right now like Call of Duty Ghosts if you're into that. But it's not much of an upgrade. It's just the fact that you got the new generation system and motor to the video and see like what type of things we're going to be able to see here. The best racing game is on Xbox exclusively. And the graphics that you're seeing is actual in-game graphics right here. So you're not going to see all the justice that my camera's picking up. But it looks so good. And, you know, if you're into racing games, these are the games to get. It's just worth seeing the graphics. For me, since I only play like one or two titles a year, the games aren't worth it for me right now other than Titanfall or Watch Dogs. That's the game I'm really excited about. If you didn't do your research now and hear the complaints, that Xbox does not play backwards compatible as in you're not going to be able to play any 360 games on here so I can't play GTA 5 and that sucks that's what I really was looking forward to so anyways I would say wait for a few months until all the games start you know racking up on it and then it's going to be a lot more worth it otherwise then you got all entertainment system you can switch through dvds netflix and tell it what to do but everything's supposed to go through your cable provider you can tell it what channel to go to and play it's pretty cool I definitely go watch other people's videos that do actually more in depth i just wanted to do my version just to you know show you my use all righty thank you for joining guys i am now I'm going to go away and edit this video and you can just watch me be a fool because I'm weird, awkward like that. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just gonna go on and hoping you guys like this little Xbox review that I did for you guys. Xbox, go home. You get the point. <sighs> Xbox, turn off. Enjoy this video, please like it, yes. share it to your friends, and make sure you subscribe because who knows what I'll bring up next. Alright, guys, later.